They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Okay, wird interessant. Ja, Game of Thrones Folge 3. Und wir müssen uns vor Lord Whitehill verantworten, weil unser Knappe einen seiner Soldaten getötet hat. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord? You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. 
Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Boah, das ist ganz schön schwierig. Perfekt gehandhabt, Daniel. Findest du? Äh, nee. <lacht> ich glaube, da gab es nichts zu gewinnen. Ja, sagst du es. Gehst du jetzt ein, dass man perfekt losen können? I was ja, wrong about aber du nicht. Lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Siehst du? You were brave, my son. Siehst du? You'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you. Ah, kein Problem. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Ich finde, ich habe es ganz toll gemacht. Okay. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should oh, be. Oh, that's important. That's important. Wer ist die jetzt nochmal? Mira. Mira. Das ist auch eine Tochter von den Foresters. Ja. Und wie arbeitet die als von noblem Blute als Handmaiden für die Marjorie Tyrell? Das ist doch jetzt nicht ungewöhnlich. Ne? Nee. Das ist ja auch eine ehrbare... Also, dass, dass es Dienerinnen sind? Die nee. Töchter von Lord? Also Dienerinnen, also Handmaiden ist ja schon eine höhere Position. Achso. Also schon... Also klar, es ist schon so eine Art... Aber es ist nicht ganz so... Lauter Krempel hier in der Kiste. Schauen wir uns das mal alles an. Ethan made this for me. Aber schnitzen kann er auch der Ethan. Schnitzen und herrschen. Kann sich aber keine Schnitzer erlauben. It was very kind of Lady <lacht> Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Diese Tyrells. Die sind super. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. Escher ist der, der... Genau, wollte ich gerade sagen, das ist doch den, wo sie ins Exil geschickt haben. Der ist in Essos. Bei Essos Keilerei. Wollte ich gerade sagen. Ich habe es aber verkniffen, passt hier nicht rein. Keilerei passt ja wohl super rein. Stimmt. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you and I look forward to the day you can. Bin ich fertig geschrieben? Vielleicht hat sie während dem Schreiben erfahren, dass Vater mhm. den Brief gar nicht mehr kriegt. Da geht es um die nächste Hochzeit, also die Red Wedding war ja die von Rob Stark. Und Zu einer, der kam es dann so nicht in ja, der Form. Und, und jetzt äh, steht hier die Hochzeit zwischen Joffrey und äh, Marjorie bevor, richtig? Korrekt. Na dann. Auch eine tolle Hochzeit. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Die ist so toll, die Hochzeit, da bleibt einem die Spucke weg. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Sie ist auch ein bisschen schwermütig, oder da? Alleine in Komisch. King's Landing. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. zur Tür gehen. Hat geklopft, ja. Wäre vielleicht nicht so verkehrt. Ja, ich bin von edlem Blute. Ich, da kann man auch mal warten lassen. One moment. Schon Marjorie. Oh, Nein. sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Das ist ein Dreckschwein. No, it's fine. Come in. Du bist ja wohl der größte Dreckschwein, der wohl überhaupt hier gibt. Bestimmt ein Spion, oder? Was macht denn der überhaupt? Der wird wohl cool, ne? Pardon, lady, but you are right. Oh. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. 
Of course, my lady. You think I need some? Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but... I know they were talking about the Starks and... and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Ha ha! Does say. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North, whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Puh. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Nur gute Begegnungen. Ja, ja. <lacht> Läuft für alle vom Haus Forrester <lacht> richtig gut. Vor allem alles Leute, die gar nicht so schnell outwitted sind. So, da reichen vier Staffeln will. angucken auch nichts. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Puh, ich gebe mir Mühe. Wer ist die eigentlich? Andere Handmaiden wahrscheinlich. Oder so. Ich finde diesen Öl... Äh, Filter ganz cool. Das ist Grund? So, ja, ja, dass im Hintergrund immer so ein bisschen flimmerig ist, so aus wie so ein Ölgemälde. Ja. Ah, schau mal, Tyrion. Und Cersei. Und der Iron Throne. Na dann. Na, ja, Cersei, wo die Wurst haut. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Dann spielen wir mal die Show. Your Grace. 
The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Also, ich mache jetzt alles so, dass es ihr gefällt, oder? Schau, was wir für Optionen haben, aber im Prinzip Perhaps ja. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king. Ja, jetzt mal opportunistisch. Hm. <lacht> And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. B. They were the wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. <laughs> Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name Joffrey as the one true king. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Weiß ich doch nicht. The Warden of the North, Your Grace. Schwierig. He is, and I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, <laughs> saying nothing at all. Tja. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Yeah, this can be Forrester Iron yeah. does seem rather unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To our mutual Was? benefit, Was? Your Grace. Let's do this. Do this is all good. for all, all for all good. This is just a halt guarantee. It will be a fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent <laughs> that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what you. Yeah, it's a. But I'm not so clumsy. I would do anything. Jetzt habe ich sie genug geärgert. Yeah. I see. What would you have the girl do? Die super. It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Ah, perhaps not. Dead. Wieso? If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? If you are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Yeah, it's must be I'm sure she would. Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king. Ah, das nehmen sollen. Das wäre genauso wischiwaschi gewesen. Na, aber in diesem Fall wichtig. Ah, es ist so schrecklich, hier zuzuschauen. Isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants, which is not very encouraging. Ah, papa la papa. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Das kannst du jetzt dann alles wieder gut machen in der nächsten Folge. Ich weiß nicht, das noch zu retten ist, was du hier schon versaut hast. Ach komm. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. 
These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I have Tja, und da Was? darfst du dich jetzt entscheiden. Wenn ja, kein kannst. Problem, ich mache das alles richtig. Ja. Guck, ob ich das noch rausreißen kann, was du jetzt hier schon uns eingebrockt hast. Ja. Praktisch das Lord House Forrester schon fast dem Untergang geweiht, aber... Ja, mei. Vielleicht kann ich das nachher rumreißen. Game of Thrones heißen alle dem Untergang geweiht, die Frage ist nur wann. <lacht> Schau mal, wie du dich schlägst als Experte. Ja? Bis dann. <lacht> Ciao.